new tonight, a passionate and packed debate as students, parents, and teachers of a small Fidel community pleaded with the school board not to cut sports and after school programs. Many parents say their children will transfer out of the district if that happens. And Case Area 3's Richard Sharp shows us their efforts and explains why the state could take control of the district if cuts aren't made. In Calaveras County, sports and after school activities are a big part of life. When they're threatened, this happens. So we're going to walk up and down the street right at 40 on 530. Hell yeah. yeah! Students rally, the band plays louder, posters are made, and parents, teachers, as well as the whole football team shows up at the school board meeting for a special assignment. The decision is, it means a lot to me, especially part of a band and being in sports. It hurts. But it's also real. Facing a projected $2 million shortfall next school year, the district has to make heavy cuts. Teachers, administrators, and staff will be cut. Schools will be closed or consolidated. And the music and sports programs are on the elimination list, too. These five people up here, all of us included, do not want to see anything on that list cut, but we don't have a choice. The school board says they have just a few weeks to hand in a balanced budget or face takeover by the county and state. But the district board becomes advisory and loses all power. People from all over the county pleaded with the school board tonight not to make the cuts. I cannot imagine having a football not having a football team on the field on Friday nights. But that's not all. Students are so angry they are threatening to leave the district. So we're talking dozens of kids, not or. Oh, no, hundreds. we're talking hundreds of kids. Oh, really? we, we have a thousand students, a little over a thousand students. You think hundreds of side? kids would leave the district absolutely, over this issue? Absolutely, absolutely. It's a difficult decision. Cut sports or have the district taken over by the county. The superintendent says they will eventually be able to find enough money to make a difference. I believe in this community and that we collectively can do that. And I do believe we'll save music, we'll save sports. Until then, the future of small town sports in Calaveras County is uncertain. In Valley Springs, I'm Richard Sharp, KCRA 3 News.